let's get to start demo first of dotnet 9 new template for dotnet my hybrid app and web app so here uh, my application is running so this is android app which is running in a phone and this is that running on the desktop same application and same application also is a web application whatever that device is running say so also it's getting that populated over here as like which device is pop running so i see android 14 not window ui and also window operating system and also we just applied over here there's blog list and in this blog list you are able to see the getting the data from the same component which will render on the web application this nice field component right the blog list which have uh, many many options over here that also we can see in that uh, desktop app as well same component right and uh, that also we can able to see the in our mobile application so go to that blog list so you're able to see over there right so this is a nice nice new feature coming up in this not net night nine new template which we'll do in this session so let's guys start uh, implementation so before implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit my channel so go to my channel and here um especially recommend like dot net or blazer hybrid blazer hybrid app you have to look this my channel and you will get that on many many other series over here we have just prepared previously like what is that not in my blazer hybrid app and how we can create an real time application and all everything actually we have to create but here dot net 9 introduce we don't need to create any setup and all because which we have to previously done so they will give that new template which everything is in build like that web application android application and that uh, ios application all that application right so that we will do but yeah before that actually you yeah, i'm especially recommend you have to know like okay how we can do is the manual approach in this dot net 8 as well so that's why i'm just recommend but yeah if you don't want to go to that previous version so that is also fine so let's start so first of all what you need to do let me open a visual studio over here there's a two way actually you can just create uh, this new template using uh, here so click on that create new project open the visual studio i just open the visual studio 2022 and once you look for this this guy let's see this guy so blazor hybrid app so in this template you will get this two template right so previously we have that this template which only just provide you know the dot net myu application which hybrid application which have only just you know ios application android application and you know uh, that uh, rest of the things but not including web application but there they just include this new template which is dot net 9 uh, with the dot net 9 with preview 5 version so see dot net uh, myu blazor hybrid app along with web app so you don't need to create you know separate web application and to you know uh, register and all or just you know try to install everything from that scratch so it will give that inbuilt so we can do uh we can you know run our application for that all that platforms right so let me quickly start this guy so choose next and here i just put uh, choose the location whatever location i want and here i can just use uh dot net myu with web app right and then just next and whatever you actually see there's another options over here interactive mode what interactive mode you want to use so you can just use it use it like auto mode web assembly mode or server mode so i will choose over here as a server mode but up to you you can choose whatever things you want and rest of things i will keep it and one more important part over here this framework so you have to install this dotnet 9 preview without dotnet preview you can't get this this template this is the new template right so use the dotnet 9 and then create so once your application got ready now you are able to see this three project over here let me show you see previously uh, the template only given these options but now they also introduce that shared component and that web application that means uh, along with all along with this platform let me show you what is that platform see these are that dot net myu platform right so android ios mac tizen and windows but it is not 
this application does not have that web application so that's why this template comes in this dotnet 9 which will you know run our application web application as well now bin web application right so that's why they introduce but yeah in dotnet 8 we have the flexibility we can just add this application you know shared library and then use that web application and we can do that so that we have done already in our channel so you can go through and then check out but here see that web application what we have nothing just a simple web application component and it's have that service right so, okay let me go through one by one so first go open that shared library so what we have in a shared library shared with library we have that layouts right so whatever layout we don't need to depend on any platform they actually keep it in shared library and then whatever the pages all the pages we have to here and also we have the service so let me open one by one so see this is if you are familiar with this blazer so this is just you know common layout of that blazer that main layout and navigation menu right so that they have to add in this shared library and now second one is the pages right so if you go to that pages so they have that three default component that is a counter page home page and brother page right so this is a default component which will have in a shared library and this component will be we can use across all that platform like you know android windows and web applications and that's all and then another things over here see this is another one is a service one so what does mean in service so see it is just create a one service inside this here uh, in the shared library and we can implement based on our platform like for example see get platform right so get platform means like which application is running like for example is android and ios or you know windows so we can get or we can implement accordingly based on that platform base code so don't worry about that as of now we have that interface so let me show you how we can implement this guy so once you go to any these two application for example uh, web application let me go to that web application from factor implementation so see here we just inherit that iform factor and just implement okay whatever that our current implementation right as per this platform so like this way actually we can get or we can use our native code based on that platform right so that's why actually they have to create you know this you know shared shared service and we can across implementation based on that platform we can do that so this all that actually uh, the structure we have and this is a same structure we have over here for that you know all that android ios and all right and one more thing actually we have over here if you go to that program.cs file nothing which we have the dozen previously so see they just adding over here okay whatever the interactive mode and this is that important part actually see so whatever the razor class library we have just created so they have to just add that reference and using that add additional assemblies and we have to add that okay where is that our you know source it is coming from this guy and we can add whatever that assembly over here in this shared library we can resolve our dependencies over here we can use it right that so like this way same things we have to use in this myuprogram.cs as well like see same additionally web developers we have to use over here right it is a web developer tools but we are we don't need to do additionally but yeah we have to do using this guy so this is a common uh, default uh, extension method we have to use uh, in this template but yeah now we have to try to run okay what how is look like okay so let me run first in our windows applications uh, for this application also we have to choose that two project over here right so one is that myu one and one is web one so i will use that myu one and it's have that all that platform myu have that platform like for example android ios you know and simulator and all right so i will run this windows application first now our application is running and also see whatever that you know uh, platform is running so it is actually also get it the data okay so this is the desktop running and which platform actually running it is a window bin ui and this is that version actually running so this is this is that service actually turning the data based on that platform right and also that uh, apart from this the default component whatever we have that shared library right so in this shared library we have that other three component like counter home and weather forecast right so if you go back to here 
so you will get see all that load data is loading properly same things we have to run in this uh, android one so let me choose that emulator of that android emulator and run it now your application got running on that android now see it is just telling okay what is that your android version and which is running right it is running phone and using android 14 version and looks like whatever that components also looks working all the shared component is working in over here as well and don't worry about that we'll create another uh, new component and we'll see how actually working for the, all that environment as well so so my android is working fine and windows also is working fine right so let me open and run this application in this web application so see i have to choose then this project to for running this application in the web and simply click the run now see windows application also got running but here see the different implementation we got like okay it is running on that web using that microsoft windows this machine right so that means all that application is running based on that their implementation right so like that now what we will do now we have that existing template right so that existing template is working fine but yeah i'll show you like how we can create my own own uh, component and that we can use that across all that platform right so as like we see uh, in our demo we have to create a block component right so that block component how we can create it and in this our application and that how we can use it so let me stop that application uh, let me close everything from here close that window close that android and also close that web application okay and now start to implementation let me create a new component so i will i have to just create a new component inside this you know shared shared library so inside the space folder let me add a new folder call it to a uh, blog so let me call it a blog and here i'll just add a new component let me call this guy blog list right blog list the reserve component add over here now our blog components got ready over here so let me start the implementation over here so we will keep that same implementation which we have done in our uh, all that uh, blazor hybrid app application so i'm not going to details but here uh, what i need to do i will use that quick grid right so for that quick grid what i need to do i have to record one package so let me right click on that shared library go to that uh, nuget package and here let me search for that that package so this is that package name right microsoft.component quick grid so this will be this we have to install so let me install first this guy apply accept so once your package is you know installed i have to record one more package so let me use that package name is let me remove this guy and look for this you know icons package so yeah this guy so use this guy to actually to bring the back that icon so i will use this guy installed so once your two this two package is done go back to your component where is my component here the package uh, pages blog list and here i will just implement that quick grid along with that uh, implementation right so let me just replace that guy right because uh, i already done many times in my many session so i'm not going to details but see, i'll i'll cover it like what we are trying to do over here see i just using that page directory and then using that whatever name space is trying to use right uh, we create right so that uh, icons specific package so we have to bring back that package and then that using this you know some condition of that you know names and authors checkbox and then we have to use that filter over here so we have to use filter and then we have to use quick grid so let me bring back that name space so this is my name space so once i get that name space this is simply just specify okay this is that image template means image column and this is a column over here and this is another columns right and this the bring bring the data as the hard coding the data over over here and that we have to just create two uh event and this we have to we have that event over here as well right the save it this is the simple component and also we have to require add some style because once this style uh one will show that image 
so that image will be here and there right so that will be required actually one uh, some style so let me add some style over here as like create another component this time i will create a css component and i'll just make it same name whatever name we have previously uh, provided like, like blog list dot razor dot css file right so let me add css so use the css uh, template add and once you add see it is just on a child uh, child file over here so i'll just add all that css style as well so this is simple css style like whatever the trtd and image container right so make look feel better so i'll just create this image uh, means this design right so once you're done now see we are ready like our components got created for this shared library now we are good to go to use all that across this platform we don't need to do anything what you need to do go to that layout page nav menu inside this shared component simply i have to just add another uh, nav menu simple i'll just copy paste and simply whatever that name our nav menu right so my nav menu is a blog list which we have just added uh, if you go back over here i just added the route over here right so this is same route you have to just mention in this year and you can just specify what is that component name so my component name is a blog blog list simply save it and we are good to go to run so first i will run again in the web application so let me run this so application is running now also see there's a new tab we just introduce newly once i click that blog list i should get that data and along with this component right and we have that many many feature in this quick grid as well so, so all that feature will work for all that platform that's why i just created these features right so see it is also as a responsive also we have required other uh, data as like whatever data as we required it right? also items is over there so similar let me run for that window application so let me change for that uh, my one and here let me change a uh, window first and run this as a window application now our window application also got running it is saying as a window ui this version and once i click that blog list now see i'm getting the same data same data I means same shared library data across in this window application as well same functionality all that functionality is working expected there is a no any issue also we can require is a more so we can just get it okay so there's a no page for that page uh, right so that's why it is showing yeah the total page over here also if we don't record author so i can remove the author if you don't want to name i can remove that name and even if i want to click any action so i can get the data edit click also delete click right so this is also working fine let me run this application in android application as well android emulator so let me choose that android emulator and run this application now your application got deployed in an android emulator and it's running now it's running and also it is saying whatever that android version and all right so let me change to that blog list so now i'm getting same list across with the all that functionality so see it is working fine and also whatever the other functionality also we have to check that is perfectly working fine there's a no issue so like this way actually we can just uh, use the dotnet new dotnet 9 new feature and with this new template and we can uh, build our application across you know all the web android you know ios and web applications very easily so that's all for this session and thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share